All right, to export a composition out of After Effects, the first thing we need to do is have the composition we want to export to video uh, active in our timeline. Um, I have two compositions here, uh, both of different footage with some effects put on it. And I'm going to uh, set both of these up for export. It's very simple. Make sure that that composition is selected. Go up to Composition. Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. So with multiple compositions open, I can queue those up and render them out. So I'm just going to add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. That'll take a moment for Adobe Media Encoder to open up and load that into the queue. You can see that it's loading there. it has opened up and here's Adobe Media Encoder and that'll load here in just a moment and there it is in the queue so we have that first composition in the queue right there ready to go and the couple of things we want to look at first of all is we want to look at uh, what we're exporting what video type we're exporting this as uh, for classwork let's select H264 and then you can go with uh, match source high bitrate and that should do a good job on uh, exporting make sure you know where you're saving this to and I'm going to set this up uh, to save to my media drive so I have that labeled there I know where I'm saving it to and I recommend that you save it to your class workspace and I'm going to go ahead and load up the other composition real quick. I'm going to select that second composition, do exactly what I just did, go to Composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder. Media Encoder is already open and it will take just a moment for that to load up and then we'll be ready to go. All right, it has loaded and it's set at H.264, match source high bit rate, and I need to send this to my media drive and fly over 2 1 underscore 1. And so those two are queued up and ready to go. So if you have multiple compositions in one After Effects project that you want to render out, you can set those up in Adobe Media Encoder to do that. Once they are loaded and you have everything selected, just hit the Start Queue button. So once it gets started, you'll see a preview down here. This composition that I have open right now is going to take a while because it's uh, 4K footage and I'm not going to worry about going through that entire process. So you can see that the status bar here is letting you know how much has been rendered out. Once it finishes, it'll go to the next composition in the queue and begin to render that out. And once it's done, you'll see uh, some check marks here saying that those are ready for viewing. Once they're done, you can navigate to those files and watch those video clips.